how did I get here? Uh, I was born on the floor of a Vermont farmhouse about 40 years ago. I grew up farming maple syrup, chickens, cows, and pigs, and full, field, full deal all the way through slaughter, which I have done a lot and don't enjoy. Um, in my 20s, I started a material science company around mushrooms, which is a weird combination, incubative. Uh, we developed some products like mushroom insulation, which never took off. Uh, we also developed products with Dell and steel case like mushroom packaging that are now used around the world. Um, so I started as a farmer. I spent a lot of time developing a new field of material science. And about five years ago, uh, I came full circle. I spun out my forest foods from Ecovative as a food company, uh, really focused on c domesticating mushrooms in a new way. Uh, and that's my forest foods where farm not fake. Well, I got to figure out your clicker here too. Click, click. I'm pressing it. <laughs> well, I'll just do this. Slide, please. <laughs> you can imagine the next slide. <laughs> On one side, it's a picture of a farm. You can see our crop. It's growing beautifully. On the other side, uh, there's a picture of, oh, here it comes. It's going quick now. Uh, Nick Rochetto, who's our chef, <laughs> chef cooking my bacon. Um, but essentially, we grow our ingredient. And we're sort of uh, taking conventional gourmet mushrooms, like Florida's oystratus, the oyster mushroom you'd find at uh, the, a farmer's market. Uh, and growing them in, like, I would consider unconventional ways and really domesticating them into a production process that allows them, us to scale them really quickly, but still grow them in local farms. So we grow in the Hudson Valley. We grow organic certified. Uh, we grow in Pennsylvania. And we've also done this in farms around the world. And there's about 3 billion pounds of installed capacity of this kind of uh, agaricus mushroom farm, which we now upgrade to make our ingredient. We turn this ingredient first into my bacon. Uh, it's loved by everyday eaters. Uh, it's plant-based. There's just five ingredients, organic mycelium, organic mycelium, coconut oil, uh, organic salt, organic sugar, and then like uh, some natural flavors like liquid smoke. It's the whole product. Um, we know people like it. It sells at three times the category average. Um, and that's really important for us because uh, our focus has been to generate one killer product around this platform and drive that forward into the market to demonstrate the applicability of our platform and also really solve a problem in this space. There hasn't been a great plant-based bacon ever. Like, <laughs> go back to light life in the 70s, it's just like not very good. And there's tremendous light and demand for something that people like. And uh, we've just, after four years, uh, started to expand to a second SKU, which is my pulled pork. It's launching in 500 Whole Foods next week. Uh, you can try it here tonight. Nice. Uh, and we're really excited to bring both these to the 1,800 doors we're currently in. Um, We've been growing quickly, 35% quarter over quarter uh, over the last, past two years. Uh, we're about 1,800, 1,900 doors now. Uh, we're just starting our SKU expansion, and we're also coming out of the natural channel into some of the uh, more mainstream uh, markets you might recognize. Uh, and lastly, this is really important, because I think there's been some discussion of like technology first innovations here. Uh, we're margin positive. We started becoming margin positive over the summer. Uh, we'll be firmly margin positive at the end of the year. And, uh, the reason we can do that is we did a lot of hard science, figuring out how to take these mushroom strains and grow them in new environments. But this shot on the right is a farm down in Pennsylvania. This is how it looks when they open the door at 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, it's a halogen light. I like to think of its sun coming through. But they just have these old style halogen lights. But there's no bouffants. There's no gloves. It's just, it's like I'm back on the farm. You know, it's like uh, on the farm and you get agricultural economics. And so we grow mushrooms at mushroom prices. Uh, and we produce really delicious products at meat-like value. Um, this is important because I have a plan. This is my plan. This is my forest foods plan. Uh, phase one is win bacon. We've been working on this for a while. We're really starting to dominate with this single SKU. It's odd to go all the way to market with just one SKU as a CPG. Um, two, we're building a real food CPG. I don't like to call us plant-based. We are, uh, but we service all sorts of eaters. Um, and we're starting to diversify our SKUs. And we just want to be a great business in this space that I think fulfills a really strong latent need. And then the last part, the part that always gets me super excited, um, is we haven't domesticated a new crop in a long time. 10,000 years ago for grains, 7,500 years ago for beans, 5,000 years ago for cows. I think it's now's the time for mycelium. And there's a lot of work going around in mushrooms and mycelium. And we feel that this is a crop that we could scale really quickly and be feeding the planet with in a new way, you know, converting wood chips into a really delicious protein source. But you can experience that as bacon, my bacon, or my pulled pork later tonight. Thank you. Thank you. That was great, Evan. Thank you so much.